deep fake gabungan istilah iaitu deep learning dan fake atau pembelajaran mendalam dan palsu adalah video dan fail audio yang kelihatan asli tetapi palsu. Dibuat menggunakan teknologi AI yang terkini dan mudah diakses dan dipelajari, individu boleh membuat video menunjukkan seseorang melakukan atau mengatakan sesuatu yang tidak dilakukannya. Persoalannya adakah video seks yang tular kini yang mendapat perhatian umum itu adalah video deepfake? Kini TV mendapatkan kepastian pakar Fong Chung Fook, pemilik LGMS Asia Security Exchange, sebuah syarikat pengodam dan sekuriti terbesar di Malaysia yang memedikan perkhidmatan forensik video. We can't tell unless we get first hand of the information. Now the thing is this, when you send a media file over WhatsApp right, or whatever social media per se, uh, the video itself, the metadata of the video gets stripped out. Meaning that if someone wish, wish to do a forensic investigation on the media that spread through social media, it's kind of difficult because some of the key information from the video, video will be removed. So from a forensic perspective, right, if we need to authenticate whether something is real or fake, at least we need to get an original copy. So from an original copy, we try to determine the date time of the, the video, the haters, uh, see if any manipulation uh, of the file, file size. And there's a lot of things that we can uh, Uh, validate to authenticate the authenticity of the video but whatever we have received from the social media because once you send through a social media a lot of this information is gone <laughs> I think it's quite authentic the confession video but whether the person is a person actually he himself or uh, I can't tell but uh, the video itself uh, I have looked at a few angles it's quite authentic and there's not much movement Yes, not much of a uh, obvious movement that indicate defect is in play. Antara elemen untuk mengetahui atau mengesahkan video itu deepfake adalah resolusi visual, pencahayaan, herutan visual pada muka dan badan, kelipan mata, pergerakan badan, pergerakan bibir, tanda kelahiran dan lain-lain. Sumber asli sahaja yang dapat menentukan ia deepfake atau tidak. Yes. Is it difficult? With, with today's technology, it is absolutely possible right, to do a video like that. Um, especially when you have video where the facial uh, elements are not drastically changing. Right? If, if you see a one dimension face uh, with a very little movement, right, it's quite kind of easy to do the defect. Unless you're looking at something as keep moving, rapid changes of the face angle, different perspectives, right, then it's harder. But if you look at a video where the actors, uh, the face do not change, shift uh, in multiple different angles, uh, the fake technology is easy to do. But you can see it's... it's He did move, um, but it's, we are not looking at the... the we are, again, it's the, the video is not in high resolution, not in too high resolution, but um, from the blurry images, I think is kind of believable. Uh, but then again, it's, it's no way to determine whether it's defect or not. If you want to determine the defect, we would like to have a video resolution like such as the uh, such as the confession video. The confession video is clearer. Is it is um, we can see the actor in the video in a closer distance. Then we can pay some special attention to some of the parts of the face that to determine whether it's a de defect or not. Yeah, of course, it would be better if we can get an original confession video, look at the time, date, time, timestamp, uh, how the video was made, on what devices it was recorded, then we can give a more concrete uh, determination. Menurutnya, video itu disebarkan melalui WhatsApp dan media sosial yang menyebabkan kualiti pixel video adalah rendah. Fong turut memberitahu penghasil video tulak itu perlukan masa yang lebih lama untuk menghasilkan video untuk nampak tulen. From, from this one, it's also kind of obvious because if you look at the proportion, the proportion of the head and body, it's kind of obvious. Yeah. But if you if you freeze it, if you freeze the video and edit and enlarge the head a bit, then it makes it more natural. It looks more natural. Here is unnatural because the proportion of the head and the and the body doesn't really match. Again, in order to fix this, it's just a matter of learning. We need to spend more time. Maybe spend one week using a normal computer, we can achieve a much better result. Dia juga turut memberitahu bahawa untuk menghasilkan video deep fake, ia memerlukan perkakasan dan perisian berkuasa tinggi dan kos yang mahal. Namun kini tren penghasilan video ini semakin mendapat perhatian. 
So this is done by just using a normal computer. So what the computer is doing is that the computer will start to do some kind of learning of the original video, the learn of how Obama looked in different angles. So when, when you watch a video, right, the person may look at the camera, but at the same time, you, the camera may also capture the person from different angles. Right? So what the computer program is doing is to learn up how the person look, looks like in different angles and use what the computer has learned and impose it on a new uh, target. So in this case, we are actually combining these two videos, uh, Source Obama and to, to another person. Of course, this was rendered in a very short amount of time. So by giving longer time and more uh, pictures of the uh, subject of the source, we can render in a more uh, closer imitation. So in this case, this is just done within uh, one day. Right? Shilda Ismail dan Masuda Malak untuk laporan khas Kini TV.